Hey folks, Gary here with Paramount. So today we're gonna to be doing a video on what is undoubtedly my personal favorite product that we carry. Uh, it's the only product that we carry that I use at least three to four, if not more times per week. They save me so much time, they're so convenient, and I, I'll tell you, it's also one of our biggest sellers. Uh, but there's a lot going on with these, and obviously it's fix-it sticks. Um, they're expensive and I want to make sure that you know what you're getting into what you're getting for your money because they are expensive, but I think they're an excellent, excellent value, especially when it comes to maintaining your guns, but they do offer a lot of different sets and they've also come out with a lot of new sets and features built into even the original set. So I want to show you the changes on those, but most importantly, I want to show you why they cost what they do, why they're still worth it. And especially if you're law enforcement or military, why I think every single person should have this in their kit, ready to go uh, for when bad things happen and your guns go down or whatever it is. So let's get right into it. So first of all, this is the works kit. Uh, this is my personal kit that I've used for the last two years. And folks, I have used these so much. What I used to always bring to the range is, you know, this, this tool kit, right? You know, I still throw this in the training trailer, but I rarely ever have to pull anything out of it. And what has frustrated me over the years as an 18 Bravo a weapon sergeant on a team or uh, and just a guy that likes to do a lot of his own gunsmithing is all these cheaper sets. For instance, this Wheeler bit set uh, that I've had for several years and, you know, different cheap bit sets like this. Um, you know, the problem with these folks is that these bits, they, they round bolts off left and right. Uh, they're just cheaply made. The screwdrivers are cheaply made. The bits are cheaply made, and it really does end up tearing up your fasteners and stripping those fasteners out. Can't tell you how many times I've seen that done. And we're going to talk about why you don't have to worry about that with these sets in just a second. But this one kit really replaces everything I got in that toolbox and this and this. And it makes doing maintenance on your guns so fast, so easy. And folks, when I'm on the range, I can't tell you how many times at least you know, 15 to 20% of our students, their guns go down in some way. Usually, you know, whether it's an optic that falls off or is coming loose, uh, whatever it is, you know, there's a, a multitude of things that can happen. And these things happen in the real world too. You know, as the 18 Bravo on a ODA, I was constantly fixing either our heavy guns or our, my teammates' guns in one manner or another. And to be able to carry this set with you that you can throw in a bag, it's super convenient, and it's going to cover you for 99% of anything that's gonna happen in the field, man, it just makes sense. As a matter of fact, it doesn't make sense to not have it. And that's what I really wanna talk about. So if you watch any of my videos, you know that I'm a details guy. I like to dive deep into the features of a product. Uh, so there's really no question left unanswered. That's really what it's about. And I'm always covering the things that matter the most to me, even if they're slightly nuanced. So we're gonna cover the details and the features that are common to all these, as well as to get deep into each one of these sets so you know exactly what you're getting and why you're getting those products and what they actually do for you. So that being said, I wanna be respectful of your time. There are chapter markers down below. So if you wanna fast forward or come back to something, those are down below, so go check that out. So to start off and just generally speaking, let's talk about what makes this such a good product and what it makes it such a good value overall. So let's look at this set right here, and this is the work set. The one thing that I will tell you right now is that all of these bits, all right, one thing that I love about these bits is they're precision ground and they're hardened. They're just really, really well made. And they fit the fasteners much better than I've seen any other bit set. So you're not stripping out fasteners on equipment that could be potentially mission or life critical. And that's important, right? So again, these fit really well, they work every single time and they're just really well made. The other thing that I love about these sets is the fact that at a glance, I can see exactly what I'm missing. And I'll tell you right now, especially when you're out on the range, you got 50,000 things going, we have students and other instructors borrowing your equipment. It's nice to be able to look down and see exactly if all of my bits are there, if I'm missing any components just right off. So it makes sure that you're keeping your tools, which you know is half the battle. I also just really love these T-handles. They make removing and tightening down fasteners so much easier. Uh, and when you got to really put down some torque on there, you turn that sideways and you can really torque down on that. Now we're going to get into some of the torque drivers here in just a second. But what this particular set that I've used for the last couple of years comes with are these torque limiters. So this is a one piece non-adjustable torque limiter. This one is 65. This particular set comes with a 65, a 45, a 25 and a 15. 
but those are non-adjustable and there's no way to get anything in between. I will say that's the only kind of downside, but I will tell you 90% of what I'm working on with scopes and other inch pound torque limits, those are the most common that you're ever going to see. And each set also comes with the most common fasteners that you're going to use or need. I genuinely can't remember ever having to go find a bit that wasn't included in this when it comes to working on a firearm. I'm sure there's some specialty bits out there or some specialty fasteners out there that maybe one of these sizes don't work for it, but I can't remember a time when that's happened. When it comes to scopes, when it comes to different receivers, when it comes to different, different sites and things like that, everything that you're gonna need is right here. So this is the works kit with the torque limiters, which they've made a really cool improvement to this kit that I'm gonna cover in just a second. But as I get into each one of these different kits, I am gonna display the back of the box, which shows you everything that you're getting prior to getting into that kit. So you can look and see exactly what you're getting with each kit. And to see if really, if that, that particular kit is the one for you and you're gonna find the most useful, right? So the first kit that we're gonna cover in detail is the works kit, but this is the updated version it actually comes with a torque driver. And I'm gonna show you how that works and the utility of that. So you can see it right here. And the one first things that I wanna show you real quick, and I actually, a friend asked me for this. So I ended up giving it to him on my kit. On the back here is a magnetic, Check that out. So it's really nice when you're sitting there working with small fasteners or you know different components, uh, mechanical components that you're working with, you don't wanna lose. You can throw those on there right there and it's gonna hold them in place. So that is really handy, especially out there in the field where we all know we've lost different components to a rifle, cotter pins, whatever it is, right? So very similar as you can see, but I already noticed some aesthetic changes already that I think are actually really well done. This is my old kit and you can see that all, or at least most of the components are dark, they're black, and you can see the new one, they're almost like a uh, kind of a satin chrome, which is really nice because when you drop one of these, it's much easier to spot and it just looks a lot nicer. So there's no major changes as far as the different bits that you get or anything that's changed with the T-handle driver itself, but I do wanna show you this right here compared to, all right, so this is our torque driver versus our torque limiter. And I wanna show you this, so this is what's really great about the torque driver is number one, we have from zero to 65, you know, all in one tool. And unlike those torque limiters that are limited to that one torque setting, we can also use this to hit those in-between numbers or those odd torque settings as well. So for instance, if we had to hit, you know, 24, all we would do is crank this down to just below 25. And there we go, we're, we're good to go for 24. If we need to go to 30, we're gonna go in between that 25 and 30. And there we're at 30. So, you know, this gives you the convenience of all of those different torque limiters in one single tool. And, you know, it just really doesn't get much easier than that. So, so that's just a really nice feature to have. And it just provides that much more utility for those odd torque requirements that, you know, sometimes that you get out there. So uh, I really like that update. That really makes a almost a perfect set that much better. It really does. The other thing that's nice is that inside this pouch, you do have some different pockets and some ad additional elastic retainers in here that you can put, you know, just additional tools. You know, I know inside here, in this one that I have, I have some Vibratite, always handy to have. I have a, you know, a Night Force scope tool uh, and just a couple other little things. I also did throw in an extension, but I'm gonna show you in one of the other sets where that set kind of makes this irrelevant to begin with, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So folks, that is the Torx work set. And I will tell you right now, just from experience, 99% of anything that you're gonna do on a gun, this set right here will cover you. And uh, again, you got everything you need right there to get anything, to fix anything out in the field and to make sure that you're ready to go no matter what's going on. So the next kit that we're gonna cover is the field toolkit for Glocks. You can check that out right there. And you can see right here, here's an illustration of all the different components inside and what you're getting out of this kit. And I haven't even looked at this kit. I haven't even checked this kit out yet. So we're gonna do that together. There's already one feature that this comes with that I'm really digging that come in some of the kits. Uh, we'll talk about that. So as you can see, this is already a really great form factor. This is easy to throw into your range bag and or throw in your glove box, whatever it is. But these are all the different components that you're gonna need that are specific to Glock themselves. This is one of the new updates they have in some of the kits that I find pretty exciting. And it's the fact that, that this T-handle, which is slightly shaped different for Glocks, is ratcheting. I think that's a really cool feature. Here we have a Glock sight tool. And by the way, this does have a locking collar, so your bits aren't gonna fall out. We're just gonna pull that collar back, insert our bit, it seats firmly, 
and now your bit is not gonna fall out. But again, we have that ratcheting feature and it is reversible, right? So we can tighten or loosen with that ratcheting feature, uh, which makes it really nice. And as you can see with this particular T-handle, we can actually move this around, right? So we have this, and then we also have some, what looks like extensions where we can T-handle it different ways. So you just have some different extensions that you can move all around this thing and use it in different ways to get torque or to get additional length if you need to when you are trying to work on your Glocks. Right here is one component that every Glock user needs and that is a magazine base plate remover. These things are extremely handy uh, and it comes with that in there. Here we have our torque driver. This particular one goes from zero to 25 inch pounds. And that of course is based on the requirements from Glock, uh, the different torque limits that you're gonna need when you're working on your Glocks. Like I said, we already have a sight tool. We have a Glock sight tool. That's good, always handy to have. So as you can see, we have a large variety of different bits and adapters, punches as well. We have some different punches. We have that Glock bat cap tool. It's gonna cover you for everything that you need for working on your own Glocks. And that is really handy to have there again, when you're out on the range, you're at a competition and something goes wrong with your gun, you have everything you need in one small pouch to get your gun back up and running. So there you go, folks, that's your field toolkit for Glocks. I mean, look at that. It's just a nice compact package, a lot of utility, a lot of capability all in that one pouch. So it keeps you ready to go at all times. And as mentioned earlier, links for everything are down in the description below, as well as a discount code, or you can just go to paramounttactical.com and pick it up there. But again, we always appreciate your business and hopefully you come back to us. On to the next kit. All right, the next one that you're we're gonna cover is a 19 piece rifle and optics school kit. Uh, this is another one that I haven't seen. So let's open this up and check this one out. Oh, and by the way, these do come with instructions with each kit so that you know how to use everything. But if you're like me and you feel like reading instructions makes your testosterone be depleted, then leave those aside the and just try not to even touch them, throw them away right away. So this is the rifle and optics kit. Oh, I like the way that's laid out. That's laid out very nicely. Nice and compact, easy to see what's going on there, and is basically gonna give you everything that you need to change out your optics. Uh, this is a nice kit to keep along with your long range rifle, but you do get the full torque driver that goes all the way from zero all the way up to 65, um, so you get that as well. So a very nice kit and very compact. You know, when I'm looking at this kit, the first thing that comes to my mind, this is the perfect kit to take with you hunting. It's not adding any bulk, it's not adding any weight, but it has everything that you need. If something bad happens to your rifle and or your optic, you can fix it out in the field and you're ready to go uh, without adding a bunch of weight and carrying through the woods. So I think this is a perfect kit for anybody that's hunting and doesn't wanna carry too much with them. But there again, it's gonna cover you if something bad happens. And that's the rifle and optics toolkit right there. So the one kit that I don't have in stock to illustrate right now is the three gun kit, but you can see the contents of it right here and you can determine if that is the perfect kit for you. But now I've saved the best for last. This is the one that got me really excited when I pulled it out. I actually pulled it out during a live stream the other day. It was the first time I saw it. Uh, and uh, man, I was like, hey, as a matter of fact, as soon as this one comes out, it's going into my toolkit and this is gonna be my new, my new one. All right, so this is the uh, long range competition toolkit. You guys see it right here. Right here is all the contents of that kit. And let's pull this out and see what is all in it. So as we can see, this is definitely the largest kit that I am aware that they make, but we can open this up and check out what all we have inside. Again, you got instructions. We're losing testosterone as we speak. Pull that out. And we'll look what we have here. We have that ratcheting T-handle. Man, I, I love that. I love this ratcheting T-handle. That's the one thing that many times I've been sitting there wrenching on a gun or doing whatever, and I was like, man, I wish this thing ratcheted. And don't get me wrong, on the other ones, they have a collar that slips, so you can pretty much use it that way. But it really is nice to have that ratcheting mechanism. I like that a lot. And that just adds that much more value and much more functionality to this these toolkits in general. So right here in the side pocket, we have some uh, kind of cool stuff hidden away. We have a lens cloth, that's great. But over here, inside this pocket, we also have a scope leveling system that is really nice actually. I really like this level because you can actually mount this to the scope base itself. And we once we get that mounted and we get it uh, level, we can monitor this to ensure that the gun itself is staying level throughout the scope mounting process. So this makes it really, really handy and very usable. And what is also cool, I'm just looking at this, 
even if we mount it underneath the rail where we end up putting the scope on top of it, we can just pull that apart and slide it underneath there so it's not trapped underneath there. So I really like the functionality of this. They thought that through and it makes a lot of sense. We are gonna pull out some levels that I know are good and test these to see uh, if they're indeed level, both of these. Let's see right now if they match. We are gonna test these levels to make sure that they're indeed level. I can see on this one that there's a slight deviation, so we'd have to check that once it's actually mounted to a rail, which we will in just a second. And folks, just look at how these drivers are laid out. You have a ton of different drivers that are gonna be useful. We have some additional punches there, some extensions, uh, everything that you're gonna to need to work on your gun out in the field or even at home. I use my fix-it stitch to mount all the scopes for clients, so I use them as much at home and in the shop as I do out in the field. But again, everything well organized, everything is there. And there again, on this side, we do have some stainless steel um, cleaning rods. Now folks, I'm not the biggest fan of putting stainless steel cleaning rods through my bore, but I will say out in the field, this could be very handy. Obviously, if you're out on a hunt or you know, you're at a competition, you may not wanna bring your, this is what I recommend, a bore sticks by Bore Tech. Uh, those are on our website as well. Highly recommend those, but obviously we can't throw those in a backpack. This we can. And so out on a hunt, out in the field, this makes a lot of sense. Over here on this side, we do have our magnetic parts, little retainer, I almost said parts tray, it's not that. But folks, I want you to look at this. You can obviously take this and put this out here, but I actually like, if I'm using this and I'm working out in the field, this portion of the bag itself, or the case itself, does work as a little parts tray. So that could be actually extremely handy. You can see that that is indeed magnetic. Down here, we have our torque value reference card. So if you're working on a gun, again, you can put multiple of these in there. You can have what gun it is uh, and put all your torque values down there so you don't have to continue to reference that and look that up time and time again. So that also is very handy to have and well thought out. Over here on this side, we do have additional storage. Obviously, we have some uh, several different elastic retainer bands, so you can put things down in that. But there again, you have additional storage in this Nenny portion as well. We will do some testing on these to make sure that those are indeed accurate levels. We'll check that out in just a second. So by the way, the small top level is magnetic. So that's really nice. Um, and that definitely will come in handy. But we're gonna check these real quick to see how accurate they are. I'm gonna test them against some levels that I know are good. Uh, but overall, this kit is really impressive and you can buy one, just not this one because you know this one's mine. All right, so I got these levels level <laughs> and they're reading the exact same, so that's good. Uh, here's a level that I use all the time for scope mounting. I've done a lot of testing on this. I know it reads true and bam, look at that. We got level, level, level. Everything is good. So there you go, folks. With this one kit, no, they're not cheap, but it's a quality item to go with your quality. You spend a lot of money on your guns, you spend a lot of money on your scopes, and all the different accessories, the last thing you wanna do is strip those fasteners out. And it's so nice to have one toolkit that has everything you need, it's easy to see, it's easy to use, and it's ready to go when you are. So it's a good investment. Um, you can buy cheaper, but when you start getting frustrated, stripping components out, it's just using junk on your high quality items. That doesn't make sense to me. So there you go, folks. That's the Fix It Stakes Long Range Competition Toolkit. Uh, if you end up buying a custom case from us or a rifle or whatever else, number one, anytime that you buy rifles through us, uh, if you're buying an entire package, we always give you discounts as much as we can on all the accessories, including something like Fix It Stakes. Also, there again, down in the description below are links for these as well as a discount code. We always try to take care of you as our subscribers, but if you end up wanting to get a custom case from us and you want a cutout for this kit or any of the kits that uh, I've talked about today, make sure you let us know and we can make that happen. And it's nice to have all in one spot, all in your case, all the accessories, your gun, and you can see immediately if you're missing anything. Keeping your stuff is half the challenge. There's no doubt about it. The other thing I want to mention, folks, make sure you're going to check out all of our other social media sites. We do a lot of cool things on there. Also, something new that we've been doing is our Substack. So go to paramounttactical.substack.com. That's where we do our newsletters. That's where we advertise deals on guns and other things that we can't talk about on most of the big tech anti-two-way social media sites. So 
we don't spam you. We're not going to sell your information or give your information away. Um, and we're only going to send out relevant newsletters with upcoming events, specials, things like that, things that you'll like. So make sure you go check that out for sure. Also, every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we do a live stream. We'd love to have you join us. That is the time that we talk about. We have special guests. We talk about many different topics, but we do take live questions all throughout that live stream. So make sure you join us on Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern time. We have a great time and you will too. Well, folks, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was informative. Uh, if there's anything that I left out or any questions you have, make sure you put those down in the comments below. Commenting helps, so make sure you drop a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And while guns and gear is great, we're really about training, so make sure you go to ParamountTactical.com. Go check out our upcoming training schedule. We'd love to have you out. We'd love to meet you in person. But until next time, stay armed, stay ready. We'll talk to you soon. Storm is coming, but I'm prepared.